Hello everyone, welcome to Nuestra Casita, bienvenidos a Nuestra Casita, this is our first Tabla Live show that I'm um, today here on Father's Day, um, but before we get into our show, we would like to wish every single father out there a happy Father's Day and, and hopefully you're having a blessed Sunday with your family, um, but before we continue with our show, we want to share this little song with you. Once again, happy Father's Day. Um, there's one thing that we want to go over today and I thought this would have been the perfect opportunity in our first show because we get this question asked a lot. And the question is, what is the buying process? I really want to buy a house. I don't know where to start. I don't know where the process is. I hear a lot of stories. So me and my sister Gloria, we're here to help you out in getting you through this process or making you more informative about what the process is. So here we are with my sister to start off the, the, the process. Again, once again, welcome to our show. Uh, we're excited to have you here. And yes, that, that question comes out often. Uh, how do I become a homeowner? So definitely the first step would be with uh, be uh, meeting with the real estate professional, which would be uh, my brother and I. We're available to meet with you, sit down, and go over uh, what would be your ultimate goal. Will you like to purchase a condo, a single family home, or units, right? Um, we get to interview one another and, and get the process starting. And then we'll set you up either with... A lender, guys. Either a lender that we currently work with or a lender that you already have in mind. The most important thing is whoever you feel comfortable with. And to most importantly, get you pre-qualified, guys. And the reason we say that is because we want, we, before we actually show you guys any properties, we would like to get you guys properties so you can get an idea of what your price range is and what your mortgage payment is and what you're going to feel comfortable with. We don't want to go out there and overshow you something and it might be a little bit out of your range or maybe something that you feel not too comfortable because of the payment. That's why it's very important to get pre-qualified. If you don't get pre-qualified at the guys, do not get discouraged, guys, because it happens sometimes, but remember, it's a beginning. If, not, if you don't be qualified now, we'll make sure or help you or assist you in getting you pre-qualified in the near future to get you into a property. So remember, do not get discouraged, guys. Let's get you pre-qualified, okay? And then we go to the next step. Which is what? Which is uh, searching for homes, right? That's the exciting part. Where That's where we take you hand on hand. Uh, we make appointments. Uh, to view the homes of your interest. So if you're looking again for a condo, a single family home, or units, uh, we're there to assist you and walk you through the process. So we're there to ser we're searching for homes. And it can be in the area of your choice. And then most importantly, we find the house you like, and what do we do? We submit an offer. And remember guys, during the offer process, that we negotiate the price, what are gonna be the terms of the contract, and to see if we could do the whatever the best we can to get you the best deal um, for your money's worth. So like I said, me and my sister Gloria, we're always at your best interest. And that's why we've been very blessed in, in the real and doing real estate here in Southern California. And then we continue to? Guess what? Once you get your offer accepted, we will go right into escrow. Escrow normally lasts between 30 to 45 days. And uh, that's where we finalize all the documents, right? Any paperwork that needs to come in, uh, this is the time. Again, that 30, 45 uh, waiting period, uh, we're there to walk you and answer any of your questions. And uh, yes, definitely as a home buyer, you can do a home inspection uh, just to make sure that the property has, um, it's standing good, in good condition. And if not, and we find something of whatever, uh, we can still negotiate. So escrow again, 30 to 45 days, uh, but hang on tight because we're very close to becoming a homeowner. And remember guys, we're, we're with you through this whole entire process where you're never left alone. We'll keep in touch with you as, as daily as we can or as, as needed. But most important, guys, once again, we're in escrow now, so me and my sister, what we do during that time, we not only just sit back, but we, once again, we double check all the papers, make sure that all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. Because most importantly, we want to provide you the best service we can. And we do that by making treating you like a family member. So finally, we go through escrow, double check everything one more time, and then... Guess what, guys? It's closing. We finally closed our deal and you become a homeowner. This is the time where we deliver the keys, right? And we're excited to welcome you to your first home and that you let us assist you in the process. And again, the home buying process is fairly easy. Again, it's just first the step is meeting with my brother and I. And um, 
we'll, we're there hand on hand to walk you through the home buying process. So we're looking forward to get a call from you guys soon, guys. So with that said, once again, happy Father's Day. Um, please stick around for the second part of our show, which will be interviewing great people who are doing great things in the community. And today we have Dr. Valdez from the city of Montevallo going to share some uh, good information, especially for fathers out there. So with that said, see you in the next part. Hello everyone, welcome to Nuestra Casita, to our second part of our show where we'll be interviewing um, great um, individuals who are doing great things in our communities. Uh, in our community, but with that said, we're here, um, we'll, we'll get my sister get it started here. Uh, we would like to welcome uh, Dr. Valdez to our program, and uh, we would love to get some interviews uh, going with you. So Dr. Valdez, I have a couple of questions for you. Sure. And uh, the first is like, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, where you went to high school, and how you got into chiropractic? Of course, uh, it's a pleasure to have you guys here and being with you. Uh, before I say anything about me, I want to congratulate both of you on Nuestra Casita. You have a program. I wish you all the success in the world. You also sell real estate in Southern California, and I wish you more success in that because that's what allows you the freedom to be able to do these kinds of things. It's wonderful for the community, wonderful for us all to just get to know each other as a community. As for me, uh, I was born in Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. I'm, I'm first generation uh, immigrant. I was raised from the age of eight in East Los Angeles. I attended Garfield High School. I fell in love with chiropractic, what I do. I've been doing this for 38 years uh, by seeing a man who just looked content. It just so happened that in my community, there was a lot of violence. There was a lot of chaos. And I met this beautiful man. I never got to meet him personally, but I saw him with eyes of peace and a peaceful nature to his physique, his body. And he was sweeping the front of his, his business establishment. I looked up at the name and it was Dr. Sar Antonello, chiropractor. I was 13 years old when I decided that someday as I get older, I would become a chiropractor. Little did I know at the age of 21, 22, that love was reignited. And here I've been practicing for 38 years and still enjoying taking care of patients. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I know, Dr. Valdez, there's a lot of projects you're currently working on right now. Um, tell, us, tell us our views a little bit about what's going on right now in your life and stuff you're doing. Sure. You know, the, the, the largest project, perhaps the most uh, recent project, is InVision Television. I am president of InVision Television, which uh, they will be hosting one of the programs on the television channel. And it's just the way life unfolds. I never saw this coming. But life has a way of blessing human beings and, and taking them on a journey that they never anticipated. So that's perhaps the largest uh, project we have. I'm involved in pre-production, pre production and post-production. I'm meeting people that are outside of my world. It's a very new experience, but I'm enjoying it. And not to mention the project of my wife, not that my <laughs> wife is a project, but it is a project to stay married. We've been married 42 years. I have the great project of my family. I have six children, 10 grandchildren. I have a wonderful, huge life. And life itself is a project, if I could take it that far, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Dr. Valdez, um, knowing that a lot of our viewers out there are fathers, is there a message you would like to share with them? I, there is a message, and I have a little bit to say about that because I do have six children. I want to remind all men, all fathers, that there are two kinds of kings. There is the king that wants to be served. He says to the kingdom, take care of me. He says to the queen, take care of me. That's one kind of a king, but you know that kingdom doesn't get excited about his successes and his birthday is not an exciting event. There's a second kind of king and this second kind of king serves the kingdom and protects the queen. You see, that queen and that kingdom gets excited to see the king succeed. And they get excited about celebrating his birthday and other events in his life. So I encourage all men to be the second kind of a king. Serve your kingdom and protect your queen and they'll serve you and protect you. Secondly, I want to share this, that you know life is very inconvenient. This very morning, uh, one of my staff, mem staff members didn't, is not going to come in. We have a huge day ahead of us, but you know, life is just inconvenient. Parenting is inconvenient. Marriage is inconvenient. Being a father is inconvenient. And the great kings, the great fathers, we just overcome whatever inconvenience comes our way. 
So I encourage all of us to be overcomers. And then I would say, lastly, I want to remind you of that original love you once had for being a dad. This very morning, I found myself sweeping the front of my own establishment. And the reason for that is I have a new neighbor, a new business that moved in, and they're giving attention to all the details because they're brand new in business. And I remember when I was brand new in business back 38 years ago, I put up lights, I painted rooms, I built walls, I swept, I did everything. And you know, with the passing of time, for whatever reason, you start losing the love for the details. This very morning, I was excited to sweep out in the front. And so to parents, fathers, I encourage you, give attention to detail the way you once did. We all need reminding. Everyone needs reminding. No one remembers all the time. Mm -hmm. So give yourself a break, but do give attention to detail. And then a special note, Genaro, Gloria, you know how difficult it is to parent. Yes. But what about the single parent? Yeah. What about that single mom who is both queen and king? What about that single father who is also king and queen? The grandma who's raising her own grandchildren. To those single parents out there, God bless you. We love you. We're behind you. If you need our help, voice it out. Don't just be tough. Let us help you. Let us come aside you. You know, life is a village. Life is about a village. Let's all work together for each other. That's why they have me here, because we're a village. We're becoming a team now. And I'm excited once again for your success. And thank you for having me here. Thank you. That was a very powerful uh, Father's Day message. So to all the fathers out there, uh, definitely happy Father's Day. Um, in conclusion, you want to wrap up our... In conclusion, Dr. Valdez, I know there's a lot of people excited about what's going on with your work or maybe want to see you live one day. I know there's, there's something coming up for, for fathers or for... Yes, we have an event July the 14th. It's a Saturday. It's from 1 to 2.30. It's a men's seminar. It's only for men. The English portion will be from 1 to 2.30 and there will be a Spanish message immediately after that from 3 to 4.30. And the message is on the, on the theme of improving the person in the glass. Every one of us, we look in the mirror and we can acknowledge we have done something with our lives. We've come to a certain point, but every one of us have still something to work on. And so I'll be addressing the theme of how to draw the better you out of you. We all have the same inner qualities, every single one of us. But some of us have, for whatever reason, been able to draw it out. And it's my job, my duty, my pleasure to be able to assist the men to draw the better person out. So you're invited. You may call my office, 323-722-3300. And one of my staff members can help you with that. So with that said, guys, once again, thank you for coming to our show in Nuestra Casita. Thank you to Dr. Valdez. You're very and welcome. Once again, my sister and I, Gloria. This concludes our show. And again, we are your Southern California Realtors. Um, if you have any questions regarding buying and selling real estate, definitely give us a call. Thank you. Thanks again to Dr. Valdez for coming on to our show. Uh, a, definitely a great speaker and motivational person out in our community. We're excited to have him in our show. Um, and that would conclude our segment, our segment for today. Uh, we are excited to have you on to our next program, uh, which will continue um, giving you some tips on real estate and interviewing somebody from the community. My brother and I are Southern California Realtors, so we're just a phone call away. You can be reached at, hit at this number and uh, definitely give us a call. We're here to help you out. And like I said, guys, if you have any information or any question you would like to be answered here in the show, please, the information below, send us an email, call us on what you would like us to talk about. We'd love to cover it. The uh, most important thing is to make uh, the community out there informative of what the real estate process is because we have a lot of misconceptions of, what, of what's going on out there. So for once again, your Southern California Realtors, Gloria Genaro, signing out and see you next Sunday with some more great information. Thank you for coming to Nuestra Casita.